you have been um, following my journey of NaNoWriMo, you will notice that week three and week four's update it is missing. And yes, I, it, it, it isn't because I did not upload it or forgot to upload it. It's just that I did not film anything. Because first of all, well, I was super sick for the last two weeks. Uh, right after that Thailand trip, I have this little spruce. If you noticed from my last video, you will realize that some of the talking wasn't that good. It's because I have this spruce inside here. It was painful. And at first I thought, well, this spruce will probably go away soon like my other spruces. But end up, it develops into a fever. Yes, do not underestimate spruce. It develops into a fever and then to a serious cold and there's nose running, coughing, mostly coughing because my throat still ache yesterday but finally recovered today um, so yeah basically I couldn't talk properly and I have to rest right after work and therefore I didn't have enough time to write even though I've write a tiny little stuff which comes to my next bad news which is I am not able to win NaNoWriMo again for this year uh, uh, I wouldn't blame all on the sickness, but part of the reason for not being able to win is definitely the sickness because I couldn't write a lot. But yeah, other than that, the other reason for not being able to complete the NaNoWriMo challenge is because I have been trying to work on my essays once again. If you have noticed from my previous videos, I've mentioned that I was attending a master program and yeah, I have spent a lot of time because for one course, that's just one course, I attended two courses for this semester because I'm a part-time master program. Um, for one course, I have to complete four essays. Luckily, the professor did postpone one of the final papers, to, uh, but I still have three papers that I have to complete. Uh, so yeah, and another course has a presentation, a creative portfolio, and a final paper as well. So all in all, uh, for this semester, I have to complete five papers, one presentation, and one creative portfolio, which is a lot more work than what I have during my bachelor's degree. Speaking of my master program, um, even though I have not managed to complete NaNoWriMo challenge and feels like this is a bad news, for me it is not because it is exactly this result that made me reflect on the stuff that I'm doing, mostly the master program that I've been attending to. Um, yeah, I have, because of this failure in this NaNoWriMo challenge, I have finally made the decision that I will be quitting my master program. Um, I have my parents, a lot of, uh, some of my parents' friends um, have been telling me not to quit it. Um, I think I've been thinking about it um, since last month, but there was two sides of opinions. Either one telling me like, go and quit it. You don't want to continue to do something that meaningless, something that you don't like. The other part uh, would tell me like, just go with it. Even if you don't like it, just do it for the certificate. Especially with my parents, I do not want to disappoint them, something like that. And I've been struggling because like, of course, my aim of life is to live the fullest, to live like meaningfully, um, to do stuff that means something to me, not to waste time on something that is, you know, meaningless. But when this is kind of um, an aim, a goal I, I go towards to, but at the same time, there's reality. And yes, it is true that perhaps getting a master's certificate or a degree would be better in the future, I know, for searching for other jobs or, I don't know, jobs, um, elevation, something like that. So I've been struggling, but after this NaNoWriMo challenge, it, it makes me feel that because writing is a very, very important part of my life, even before I published my book, I've said before, it was a hobby that I unconsciously do. It was so important that I didn't realize I was doing it. I just do it like naturally. It's part of the reason why I could stay positive. I could move on with life. And yeah, once I have this master program along with my full-time job, I just don't have time for it. Even for um, the inspirations, the imaginations, I just feel like it's diminishing because for, like most of my brain was always thinking about how I could finish my job, how I could finish my essays. And I was stressing out all the time. I wasn't doing anything that I enjoy. I wasn't sparing time for stuff that I used to like, which is writing and just thinking about random imaginations and means by something like that. And also reading. I find myself reading less and less every day or every month. And my motivation to read decreases because every time when I read, which is my the reading materials in that course, I feel really stressed because I was always thinking about how could I complete the essay. I wasn't enjoying the stuff I was reading and learning. And not only that, I think the main reason that made me enjoy less about this program and stuff is also um, the teaching style. 
I wouldn't say it's bad because perhaps someone would accept that. It's just that that teaching style just not suit me. It's it's not bringing motivation to me. And I'm spending a lot of time on doing stuff that I don't enjoy. I was complaining about it. I'm being stressed out. I'm not being myself. And in comparison to last year, I find myself learning less and less stuff. Last year, I was able to motivate myself to read stuff that I don't like, like the Times and Economist magazines, because they're complicated and it's about science subjects. But I managed to motivate myself to learn so much more, uh, to challenge myself to learn things that I previously don't like. And I myself read a lot as well. I read a lot of fiction. I brought a lot of books. I was motivated to. But since this master course, um, I was planning to, to learn more about the subject I like. First of all, I don't learn a lot about it. And then I'm stressed out about it. I begin to hate it. And after having a lot more thoughts, I feel like, yeah, this just don't work out. Uh, I, I, I just feel like this NaNoWriMo challenge for someone, perhaps winning is the most important thing. But for me, this NaNoWriMo challenge actually helped me to reflect on the stuff I've been doing allowing me to come up with this decision of quitting my master's degrees. A very important decision as well. I've never quit anything that this important. I have been trying to, I wouldn't say satisfy my parents, but trying to make them proud. And I would do, make decisions that would make them proud. But this, I would feel like this is one of the most important decisions for the first time that was just for me, myself. Um, I want to be honest with myself and I just feel like this is the right choice and i'm not sure what will happen perhaps in the future i will regret before now i just want to tell myself i will not regret and, and in return to not make myself regret in the future i perhaps i will spend so much more time on stuff that i like and develop things that i could you know sustain my life i'm sure i can do it i just don't know what now I, i'm a bit afraid it's a risk that i've taken this is one of the hugest risks i've ever taken might be small to some of you but yeah it's it's a very important decision to me too so for me even though i didn't win the nanowrimo i kind of win in a way that i found myself again um i i would say failing it's it's all right to fail but from each failure in fact you can win some stuff you just didn't know it and you might not realize it and i'm i'm glad that i've realized what i've won from this failure and hope I will not waste this important decision that I've made for myself. And yeah, that's all I can talk about. Hi, thank you for watching this vlog. And if you like this vlog, remember to give a big thumbs up and to subscribe. And of course, to comment below about my experience here and what you think about it. And yeah, well, let's end this video by saying remember to stop existing, start living and be alive. Bye.